Jones sat on the bed, crossing, uncrossing her legs, hands smoothing out the already perfect bread spread. Her eyes were going to the dresser, to the CD player, to the television, going to, looking at everything but me. I went to her and I put my fingers in her strong hair. The texture of her mane was strong, had a wonderful scent. Then her eyes came to mine. She asked, how do we, how do we negotiate this? I said, the times you committed adultery, how did you do it? Well, those men, they, well, we weren't total strangers, not like this. I asked, where did you meet them? She said, one, well, we were in law school together. I said, the other, she said, well, I met him at Starbucks. I used to see him. We used to talk a lot. Became friends before, before it happened. Now, it wasn't my intent, but it happened. To my regret, he was intense, so needy, bought a house near mine, bought cars. She took a deep breath and shook away that memory and said, let me be quiet. I whispered, how would you like to do this? I don't know. Her voice thin. I don't know how to do this. I said, yes, you do. She said, she said, should I get, I mean, should I undress now or what? I said, do you want to get undressed now? Damn, you Gideon. I stood over her, my groin at her eye level. She opened and closed her hands. Her lips barely parted as she whispered, I am so wet. I am so marinated right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, marinated means. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>